Dear students, this is second part of introduction of spectroscopy. In this video, I will discuss interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter as well as I will discuss principle and mechanism of absorption and emission spectroscopy. So let's start. What happen when electromagnetic radiation or light pass through a semi-transparent medium? Here light means any light such as sunlight or light from incandescent bulb. When such light pass through semi-transparent medium, it is observed that the light intensity is reduced. Now why the intensity of light is reduced? We will see that. When light pass through a semi-transparent medium, some rays get reflected back. Some rays get absorbed in the medium and some rays get scattered from the medium and remaining radiations will get transmitted from the matter. It means that due to reflection, absorption and scattering of light, the amount of transmission is reduced. Now we will see how, how exactly the different electromagnetic radiation interact with matter. First we will see about UV visible radiations or ultraviolet and visible radiation. When ultraviolet and visible radiations pass through molecule, those radiations may get absorbed and due to absorption of these radiations, electron of that molecule will get excited to their higher energy molecular orbital. Here, electronic transition takes place. When infrared radiations pass through the molecule, those radiations will may get absorbed and due to absorption of IR radiations, the molecular bonds within the molecule will get vibrated. As we know, IR radiations are longer wavelength radiations than the UV visible radiations. IR have less energy and that's why Absorption of IR radiation will cause vibration of molecular bonds instead of electronic transition. Now this is the diagram which shows how exactly the atom is, how the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. We will go towards the basic concepts of absorption and emission spectroscopy. When molecule absorb ultraviolet or, or visible light, its electron get excited from its electron get excited or promoted from ground state to the higher energy state. In the ground state, the electrons are paired, their spin is paired or anti-parallel. And if in the higher energy state the electrons are electron spin is paired or anti-parallel, the excited state is called as singlet excited state. And if the spin of electron becomes parallel in the excited state, the excited state is called as triplet excited state. It means that the electrons are paired in ground state and singlet excited state while they are parallel in triplet excited state. Triplet excited states are always lower in energy than the singlet excited state. So triplet excited states are more stable, triplet excited state is more stable than the singlet excited state. This will help to understand the phenomena of fluorescence and phosphorescence. Normally, when UV, UV visible light is absorbed by the molecule, its electron will jump from ground state to the singlet excited state. This is the basis of ultraviolet and visible spectros absorption spectroscopy. The electron absorb UV visible light 
and gets transmitted from ground state to the singlet excited state but singlet excited state is a excited state it is a unstable state and electrons will not remain forever in that state they will try to lose their energy the absorbed energy and come back to their normal stable ground state here the electrons lose their energy in the form of heat and that's why when we put covet in for measurement in the spectrophotometer u visible spectrophotometer the covet becomes warm now this is the uv visible absorption spectroscopy but in some cases for some molecules this is not only the phenomena absorption is not only the phenomena further things happen there in those some special molecules the electrons from singlet excited state lose the energy due to internal conversion and they come back to a less energy excited state here they spend some time and finally they come back to the ground state by losing energy in the form of radiation here loss of energy in the form of radiation is called as fluorescence and finally the um, some electrons from this intermediate state further lose some amount of energy and come uh, to the triplet excited state this loss of energy is due to intersystem crossing now as we know triplet excited states are less energy state and that's why electrons spend more time in this triplet excited state but finally triplet excited state is also a excited state it is unstable one and that's why electron finally lose its energy in the form of radiation and come to come back to the ground state and this loss of energy in the form of radiation is called as phosphorescence so this diagram explains the theory and principle of all these three phenomena absorption fluorescence and phosphorescence uh, first phenomena is the basis of uv visible spectroscopy second two phenomena fluorescence and phosphorescence are called as emission spectroscopy now we'll go towards difference between absorption and emission spectroscopy here in absorption spectroscopy the radiation source is required radiation source means uh, the source from which we are getting the light or we are getting the radiations radiation source will emit the light this radiation or this light will pass through the monochromator or filter then monochromatic light will pass through the uh, our sample and finally a detector is placed there which will detect the transmitted light and will get the spectrum uv visible absorption spectrum now we'll go towards the emission spectroscopy in emission spectroscopy the difference is that um, from the absorption spectroscopy the difference is that sample itself is going to emit the radiations sample itself emit the radiation which pass through the monochromator and finally we'll get the graph of emission uh, we'll get the emission spectra and this is how the um, absorption and emission spectroscopy works so um, here um, i will end up the second part that is introduction of spectroscopy i hope you understand this thank you